Belantis is a weird park in the eastern half of Germany. Owned by Parques Reunidos, a large chunk of this park looks really nice. What other parts left me scratching my head? But the park does have a small but interesting ride lineup. There are four different roller coasters, plus some unique non-coasters. So in this video, I will count down the top 10 rides at this theme park. Before starting the list, I need to note that I wasn't able to experience their Vacoma Madhouse and Varilla's Disc Rollins. I don't even recall seeing this while I was at the park, and its list is currently closed on the website. So I'm wondering if it has been SBNO for quite some time. Number 10. Fart Desodysius. This is a slow and scenic boat ride on a lake giving awesome views of the park's taller rides. Number 9. Captain Black's Piratin Talfa. This is a small drop tower. The plunges themselves are mild, but this rides a nice view overlooking the water. And you do get a pinch of thrills because the tower itself weirdly tilts side to side. Number 8. Drakenflug. This is a husk condor. These rides are becoming rarer, but you get the spinning action of a scrambler, plus the view of an observation ride. It's a really nice combination. Number 7. Gletscher Rootscher. This is a series of wet dry water slides. One has a dark spiral. This is the mildest of the bunch. Another has a big drop. You get good speed, but no airtime or anything. The best two are the triple downs. You not only get to race, but the second hump may send your raft slightly airborne. Number 6. Belantis Raha. Unlike most frisbees that focus on airtime, this Hus version is more about the spinning. You'll be pressed against the seat back from the G's, but you also may get a smidge of weightlessness and a few swings towards the middle of the cycle. Number 5. Cobra des Amon Ra. This Gerslauer family coaster is a solid ride. If you ride in the back, the first four drops have some nice pull to them. I got a bit of whip and laterals. Then the final helix offers some positive G's as well. And along with the coaster itself, the end of the queue line features this elaborate walkthrough with excellent lighting effects and statues. It feels like an attraction in itself. Number 4. Drakenrit. This Gerslauer bobsled is a more interesting variant on a wild mouse. You have some hairpin turns towards the start with good laterals, but the rest of the layout is more diverse. You have some moderately forceful helixes towards the middle, then the finale is a series of bunny hills offering light negative Gs. And I also like how the last bit goes over the water and dives into a frog's mouth. See my review for more, but I wish this model could make its way over to the US. Number 3. Gotterflug. This Gerslauer Sky Roller is arguably the park's most intense ride, if you know what you're doing. I got at least three dozen flips in this thing. I'm usually quite good using my weight in the paddles to get these to invert anyway, but this one rotated a faster clip than usual. Because of the ride's placement atop a hill, the breeze was sending my vehicle in a turbo mode once I got that first flip. It was super dizzying. Number 2. Huracan. This Gerslauer Eurofighter has a pretty negative reputation in the coaster community. From what I understand, it can be brutally rough if you ride in row 2 or 3. I only had time to ride this coaster once, and I made darn sure to get the front row. And guess what? I actually enjoyed it up there. The train jittered, but I didn't get any head banging. Then the layout is quite strong. The Beyond Vertical Drop offers excellent ejector airtime. Then the 5 inversions are all fantastic. The 0G roll is super whippy. The Cobra Roll offers good positive Gs, and the two corkscrews offer sweet hang time. See my review for more, but I would definitely wait an extra train or two if needed for the front based on my experience. And coming in at number one is Fluke Dis Ferho. This Hafima creation is one of the weirdest water rides in the world. It marries so many different ride systems together. You ride in a dinghy boat like a water slide. You then navigate some rapids like a river rapids ride. You have a large drop like a log flume, and you also have some dark ride segments too when you go inside that giant pyramid. All of this makes for a memorable experience. Those rapids are particularly interesting because the boat flexes through them. It feels really unnatural. Then the drop feels strange as well. The back row gets a pop of airtime over the crest. Then it feels like the raft is hydroplaning on the way down. It feels absolutely unhinged. And that's not all. The ride then finishes with a whirlpool offering some laterals for good measure. I have an entire review in this bizarre ride, but it alone makes Belantis worth checking out. So those are my favorite 10 rides at Belantis. What are your thoughts on any of the attractions I mentioned at this German theme park? Let me know down in the comments. 
If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.